they would roam the world, vowing to take down evil. If evil presented itself as an arrogant food that claimed it could not be eaten. That's right. We'd assembled a team prepared to travel across Australia and combat any restaurant that had a promotional eating challenge. Citizens, meet the hungry, hungry heroes. Our story begins with Timmy Noodle Ninja Hello and the Ramen Noodle Challenge. He had to devour one kilo of noodles, half a kilo of chicken, and four liters of broth in one hour. This is all over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we were ready. Timmy looked the part. Well, almost looked the part. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's upside down. <laughs> and after that, we were down to business. He was ready to slay three liters of broth. Started off pretty confident, maybe a little too confident. When was the last time you ate? <laughs> A while. I was impressed. He'd eaten about eight packs of two-minute noodles in ten minutes. That's six minutes ahead of schedule. But then, and I don't want to use a cheap ethnic joke, he hit a great wall. <laughs> Gotta eat the wall. A noodle wall. I just can't even swallow it at the moment. We go for a walk. Go for a walk. He's gonna go, go for a walk. walk. He's gonna go for a walk. All right, he's gonna go for a walk. Give the man some space. It got to a point where I thought if I could just walk off a little bit, maybe I'll come through. You, it's so much you wouldn't be allowed to take it as carry-on on a plane. It's more noodles than that. Head back in. Are you good? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Cue Rocky music. Or unlicensed okay. sound alike. <laughs> yeah, that may have appeared inspirational from the outside, but he certainly wasn't inspirational <laughs> on the inside. Daryl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> The Noodle Ninja Hello is spewing on a church. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. What's happened? Oh, Tim. What's happened? Just, it's just too much noodle <laughs> for one man to have. Shattering. Their first hero had fallen, but a new hero would surely emerge. Hot Chili Woman and the Battle of the Burning Burger. The burger itself is rated hotter than US grade capsicum spray, yeah. It, it's probably at the stage where we can make it as hot as we can without really giving someone some detrimental health issues. Yeah, the burger that Holly was up against was hot. They cook it in the sun for about 100 years. <laughs> oh, we oh. the dogs worry. That was actually Holly's stomach. <laughs> At the start, I was wondering how hot this burger was going to be, but when I first put it in my mouth, it was nothing. There was no pain. Yeah, I was wondering how hot the burger was as well. And when I tested it, as I remember, I was unaffected. Oh! <laughs> it's hotter than Justin Bieber. <laughs> Holly started so strong, but then cracks began to appear. Pat break. Head Pat. Can we get you anything else, Hole? We were helping any way we could. But like Tiger Woods, really, her demise caught us off guard. Lose, lose. I mean, she'd failed the challenge and ruined my nephew's fireman's hat. Failure has a bitter aftertaste. But like all superheroes, they boarded their minibus and vowed to fight on fallen idols. Supportive teammates? Who could they turn to in this time of peril? This is what it all comes down to. Sometimes when the chips are down, you eat them, as well as a giant chicken. Hamish Chicken Man Blake and the Super Schnitzel Struggle. His task, to devour over one kilogram of chicken, half a kilo of chips and one litre of beer in 60 minutes. I was focused and I felt like this was the sport that my body was designed for. I well, certainly wasn't born with the body of a swimmer. Did Annie just make a comment about my body? That's... You don't tease sumos, so don't... Don't tease people. <laughs> All of you, in. Andy, yep. I've had my first message from my stomach that it wants to spew. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I had a girl the other day, about 45 kilo. Her name was Amanda, and she finished it in about 55 minutes. So I don't know. Maybe you should go and ask her how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Austrian wit. <laughs> mate. <laughs> it's not looking good. No. <laughs> it was the time that was against me and having to drink the leader of beer and the... I'm sorry, but... Andy. <laughs> Andy, old friend. <laughs> we came bloody close. <laughs> Uh, 
sick chick. So close, yet beaten again. The heroes would turn to the rock among them. Matt the Meat Master hands versus a massive three kilograms of premium steak. <laughs> nah, that is too much steak. He managed to get two kilos down. I was trying to help Matty through it, but I don't know where Hayne was. <laughs> and then Matty did what the heroes do best and also gave up. <laughs> Doors just wobbled. Oh, He's out. No! He's out. He's out. <laughs> so there our heroes were overwhelmed, overcome, and overweight. But one man remained that could still live up to the status of hero. What's his acting? A little intimidation early? Yeah, look at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, the Blizzard Wizard Lee, versus world slurping champion Pat, the Iceman Bertoletti, in a race to down one dangerously cold slurpee in record time. Fatal brain freeze, almost certain. We arrived at 7-Eleven and uh, after seeing Pat the Iceman all the way from America, I thought Andy was in with a good show. This is it. We want that trophy. Yeah, no. We didn't get any plaques no. today. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I think uh, the Iceman's listening. <laughs> <laughs> I had been training. I was pretty quick. Three, two, one, slow. Go, Ando. You done? Show me Pat. <laughs> Pat the Iceman. Oh, Andy! I didn't do it. No, he didn't do it. None of them did. But together, through a series of pointless challenges, the heroes had both inspired and disgusted us simultaneously. Can we still call ourselves? Yes, we can. Heroes. <laughs> Necessary. We didn't succeed at all.